Yeah, Africa was a tough part of the shoot. Um, but it was also where the heart of the movie was. So in the one part, it was exhausting and it was the area that created most of the darkness and emotion of the movie. And then the other part, it was the, you know, it was this beautiful kind of expansive um, country and, and, and surrounded by nature and, and, and the children, which, again, are, are really the kind of driving force behind this movie. So I, I find that in Africa I had both the best and the worst times of, of the movie. Um, we were working six-day weeks, long hours, didn't really get a lot of time off. And, <clears throat> um, but this, I don't know, it just it opened up a whole other world. This is a strange movie in that respect because it kind of, it's, it's like two different worlds and you jump from one to the other, which is kind of part of the dichotomy or the duality of Sam, of the story, of everything, you know. Um, and um, it just, the movie opened up into something completely different, even for me, even playing Sam. It was like, oh, yeah, and that happened. Oh, yeah, and then then there was Africa. Um, and and it's where I kind of went down the tubes as well. You know, it's, it's kind of where I lost my mind a little bit. Um, and yet I felt kind of finished off this, this beautiful story. Yeah, I spent a lot of time with Sam, but not... I, 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 we spent a little bit of time together in Africa um, on site. It depends what on site means because I, I, I spent on, time on site at home in Pennsylvania in his church. I watched him preach. I hung out um, in the neighborhood bars, you know, and um, the slaughterhouse for some reason. I don't know how we ended up there. Probably just trying to intimidate me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I woke up with a pig's head next to me and a note saying, "You better kill it. You better kill it in this role, boy." <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, that's going to be quoted literally, you know. Um, so, I, I, um, I saw. I sp- you know, I, I spent a bit of time with Sam um, up there, a few days, hung out with him, really um, got to know him there. He came to L.A., you know, hung out with him there a few times, came up to Detroit. He was there before the beginning of the movie. So man, by that point, I kind of felt I already knew him. In fact, I, I felt I already knew him pretty quickly in a way. You know, it's, it's all in his eyes. I mean, there's a swagger. Without a doubt, then there's questions you ask about what did you wear? What was? How did you? You know, how did you find this? And but but really, it's it's watching the way he talks, and seeing how he how he feels about things. You know, how you know that sparkle in his eyes, and how it quickly becomes a tear. Um, I was, um, he, he's a just a fascinating character to to study. You know, there's so much going on in there, and you don't know what's coming next. Sam likes to challenge people, you know, people to, in whatever way. You know, whether it's their commitment, maybe their religious beliefs, their, but um, their, um, you know, whatever. He's just the kind of guy that likes to test. You know, he, he, with me, without a doubt, it was, could I extend past the the realms of Hollywood, you know? Was I really a badass like he was? You know, um, I, I, I think he was also you know, curious as to how much of a man of God I was. I, I don't think it was that important to him. It's also, it's, he wasn't he wasn't casting me, you know? I was already cast. That was a separate process, but it was just more to meet him. Um, and he, but he, yeah, he put... When I walked in, <laughs> and he had the toothpick, and he's sitting back, like, you know, surrounded by his posse, you know, his family and his daughter and his, um, yeah, and his friends who were preachers and then just other friends of the family. So it was definitely, I was in his house, you know. There was no doubts about that, and he was enjoying that feeling and the fact that Hollywood had come to him. Um, <clears throat> not that he, he was a great guest, I mean, a great host, but... 
But um, just kind of like sizing it all up, taking his time with things, you know, like chewing his toothpick, like, okay, nice to meet you, young fella. Um, so you want to play me, huh? Uh, and, he, and at one point he put a gun down on the table. And I was like, okay, um, it's a gun. He was like, yeah, pick it up. <laughs> it was like the deer hunter. You know, <laughs> and like, you were gonna tell me to put it to my head or something. And I picked it up and, 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 and I'm just kind of looking at it and I'm thinking, okay, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with it now. But, um, and everybody keeps talking and then I start moving it around, play, and they all, like, everybody goes, no, whoa, 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 wait, it's loaded. Um, and to this day, I don't understand why he was giving me a loaded gun, but um, <laughs> yeah, maybe it was just to see if I'd shoot him in the face if by accident or something. People say larger than life, and I try and uh, I didn't really see him like that. I just see him as who he is, you know. I, I guess I leave that for other people to say he's larger than life or he's this or he's that because um, Sam probably doesn't think he's larger than life. <laughs> Sam just thinks he's Sam. So, <clears throat> but <clears throat> you just, I, I, I spend as much time with him just looking at him, studying him, evaluating him, and then also just trying to almost take it in by osmosis. Like I would literally walk around imagining myself to be him and just getting that swagger and getting that, you know, I, I would listen to him all the time. Like literally I have thousands of interviews of Sam Childers talking about everything. And I would just hear him playing in the background. So I would always have this visual image of him. Um, you know, and in between that and reading the book and any footage that you had of TV interviews or footage of him on site. Um, so so you take all that. But then, and that's where the good question comes in, because at some point you have to go away from that and say, okay, I'm going to use that and fly with that. But I'm not going to let it bog me down. You then have to... I'm not playing Hitler, JFK, or somebody where people go, wait a minute, wait a minute. His mustache was half an inch more either side, you know. Um, <clears throat> it's You then got to, you know, just you apply it to our script, our movie. And, um, and, and I get into a scene and I start working with, you know, Michelle. And, you know, and then it's the true drama that comes out of that. Um, and there just came a point. But this movie more than any other where I really felt that I did a lot of work, you know, all, all kinds of preparation and studying and and wor even working on the script for almost a year before we started. And that helps me no end. Um, but then there comes a point where you just let it all go and you just fly, you fly with it. And I, that's what I really felt with this was just kind of, Almost just jumping off and going, all right, you know. Affected, yes. Changed. I don't know if I was if I was changed, you know. I think I was I was born Catholic, grew up Catholic, practicing Catholic. Um I've always tried to stay spiritual. I've had my many spiritual quests out to India and back and and and, and kind of form my own spiritual path to the extent that um I'd say now I'm more religious than spirit, more spiritual than religious, but I still have a strong draw towards religion. So when I see this movie being made and the power that religion had in his life, although really, well, is it religion or is it God? You know, you know, it's it's God really that 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 drives him. Then. I love those kind of stories because I do believe in that and the power of faith and the power of, of belief and purpose. And um, um, so it's w one of the things that gave me a greater desire to sell the story and that, and that when you come out the other side, you feel more backed up by those kind of laws, you know.